Hey, welcome to this video. You arrived here. You're probably searching for a view of social DM. So I'll go over how it works. I'll give you my two cents, whether I think it's a good use of your time. And if you'd like my free training on the number one simplest, fastest way to earn a full-time income from home, you can click the link below. You'll see my email opt-in page, enter your best email. I could send you my free training if you want social DM. Let's dive in. So what it is, basically, it's a GPT website. GPT stands for get paid to do a task. And it'll supposedly allow you to earn $500 a day. And that's what it says up here. It'll change to $500. Uh, quite a big claim. Uh, you know, they're saying, now it is possible to earn this kind of money online, but it's, you're not going to do it by answering surveys, downloading offers, the, these small little micro tasks, um, which, which is what they're telling you you can do. Um, and anytime a website makes these kind of claims, you just have to go in with open eyes, be skeptical. Um, but... Um, you know, because it was that easy, everyone would be millionaires, right? And social DM would quickly go bankrupt for paying people these kind of sums uh, for hardly doing any work. You know, 15 to $20 for every friend you invite, 10 to 15 for every, uh, well, down here it says 10 to 15. So there's already a discrepancy there, but still, that's a lot of money just for inviting someone. $40 for signing up on here. I mean, that's that's crazy. It's outrageous. Um I've reviewed dozens of these sort of websites and most pay maybe 50 cents to a dollar just for, for signing up and then answering some questions, not $40. And uh, and apparently they'll pay you $2 just to get someone to click on your link. Like, think about that. That is, so if you get, you know, 50 clicks a day, you're earning, uh, you know, $100. I mean, I mean, it's for doing nothing else but that. So, and you could probably automate it, a lot of that too. Um, $50 for creating a YouTube video. So if I create a, a YouTube video that that's five seconds long, five seconds long, they're going to pay me $50. Highly unlikely, I think. $80 for a TikTok post and $120 for downloading apps. You know, what you need to ask yourself is what is the revenue model that allows them to pay out these kind of sums, these amounts? They're not monetizing with ads. You can see there's no ads on their website. They're not monetizing with a paid membership. They're not selling anything. So where are they getting all this money from? The math just doesn't add up. Um, you know, apparently they have, uh, um, yeah, all they're doing is getting you to refer people who refer more people, and then it's just an endless cycle. So where is their revenue coming from? Uh, apparently they have 690,000 active users, um, $8,000 a month on average is what each member is earning. If you do the math there, that's five and a half billion dollars a month they're paying out. So um, they must be doing billions in revenue. They must be like the next, you know, Facebook. Uh, but if you check their domain age, which you can do on a website called who.is, you'll see there, this website has been, only been around since 2021. So and you would think for a website that's grown that fast, they would have been picked up by major news outlets, but that media outlets, but that hasn't happened. Uh, so this is just a joke. Whoever is running this website is probably, you know, laughing at us or whoever signed up on here. Um, it's just a joke. Um, I don't like to use the word scam, but, you know, if it looks like a duck, it quacks like a duck, then, you know, you know, the rest. Um, you know, and these testimonials on here, we have no way to verify that these, these don't look real to me. Um, and then... I'm, I'm sure they're stock images, even though I reverse Google searched and I couldn't find them, but or they're just random people that have no ties to this website. Um, and then and then if they apparently they say they're the number one social earning network, if you go to their about page, which I don't even know what that means, but that's what they sit they claim. And it's a little odd for the number one social earning network that they don't have any social media presence. If you click on any of these, it'll go to a broken link or It'll just go to the home page of that platform. They're not on social media. And um, now you might wonder, what about this video? What about this video testimonial up here? Uh, so that looks real, right? But actually, you could very easily hire actors on a place called Fiverr. They're called spokespeople. And for relatively cheap, some, you know, as low as maybe $10, uh, and they'll say whatever you, you just give them a script. They'll say whatever you want them to say. And then, you know, and this, that's their testimonial because this does look quite scripted. To be honest, if you watch her body language and listen to her intonations, it doesn't seem real to me. Um, and then if you go to the income proofs page, again, more 
income uh, testimonials that don't look like real people. And if you go to the income proofs, they're blurring out a lot of the a lot of these people's accounts so that you can't go check. Um, now, uh, the, I'm pretty sure these are fake as well, because if you go to a website called generatestatus.com, uh, you can actually um, create these uh, fake but realistic looking uh, income proofs on, you know, different that, that look like they came from on Facebook or different platforms. And you just type in your message like, you know, awesome site got paid right away and it looks real. And you could even have an image and other things there. So I think that's probably what was done here, I'm assuming. Um, you know, and the fact that they even have these income snapshots, you know, it all is already a red flag because none of the legit web GPT websites do that. They don't need to. Um, and then if you read the reviews on Reddit and Quora, it's everyone's just saying it's a scam. There was money showing up in their dashboard. You know, it looked like money, dollar amounts, but when they went to withdraw their funds, they weren't able to. So how do you explain that? So what this looks like to me is just another one of these data harvesting schemes where they'll collect your information. You'll go to sign up. They'll collect your name, email, password, and they'll sell your information on the black market. Also, if you give them your PayPal info and... And then, um, and then you'll expect lots of promotions in your inbox, lots of spam. And also worst case scenario is someone could actually steal your identity with all that information. So you wanna be very uh, cautious. I wouldn't feel comfortable signing up on here. So, and I don't recommend you do either. Um, now there are legit GPT websites out there. If you come to a website called Survey Police, this will give you all the legit ones, but they don't pay that well. We're talking 10 cents, 20 cents, maybe 30 cents an hour. Survey sites pay a bit more, a little over a dollar an hour, but still a dollar an hour is not going to change your life. It's not going to allow you to quit your job, retire, travel the world. So I think survey sites and GPT websites in general are kind of a waste of time, even the legitimate ones. You know, if you're, if you're bored, you just want to play around on your phone, then sure. But if you're doing it for the money, then don't bother. You can make way more money doing just about anything, stocking shelves, washing dishes, uh, you know, mowing lawns. So I think it's a waste of time. But look, maybe you're here not necessarily because you want to be making, you know, pennies on the dollar, which is what you'd be making on GPT sites. Maybe you want to earn real money. I'm talking 20, 50, $100 an hour plus. If that's the case, what I suggest is click the link below. You'll see my email opt-in page and your best email. I can send you my free training that'll detail a business model. You could do 100% from home. You don't need any special skills or credentials to get started. And the income potential is way, way higher than these low skill, um, you know, low barrier to entry websites. You do need to learn some skills if you want to be successful online. I'm not going to lie. It's not going to take you four or five years to learn, but you do need to learn some skills and you need to, um, you know, put it, roll up your sleeves and do a bit of work each and every day. And that that's all. So if you like to learn how to do that, the fastest, simplest path to you know a full-time income online that I know of, then you can click that link below. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you on the other side of that link, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.